What is up everyone? Paul here, back with another list of some of the most addictive Nintendo Switch games that I have ever played. And the first game that I have to talk about is Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. And as you can see here, I have the lovely looking steelbook, which looks amazing. And the reason why I have to say that this is one of the most addictive Nintendo Switch games that I have ever played is because I spent around 120 hours just beating the original Shin Megami Tensei 5. And now they've come out with the Vengeance version, which is the definitive edition. It features a brand new canon story route which fixes a lot of things with the old story. And one thing that I have to say that they definitely greatly improved upon with this game is the balancing with the combat. Because if you played the original, then you would know that if you weren't almost at the same level as the bosses or the enemies, you could just easily get wiped out. So this game still maintains the hard as nails turn-based difficulty but it's definitely better balanced where you don't have to be the same exact level as your enemies. And it is a little bit less grindy as well. It looks like it looks like it's easier to get XP around. So maybe this will fix a major problem that I had with the original, which was that at the end, it was nearly impossible to get EXP and level up unless you got the DLC. But um, this game is just so addictive because of that classic awesome turn-based combat the turn-based combat in this game is like none other that i have played in any other rpg or jrpg it is really difficult but it's also fair at the same time and it really gives you a good challenge which for me is definitely what i like in my turn-based rpgs because if it's just too easy where i'm just steamrolling every battle and that's main, mainly what you're doing in turn-based RPGs is turn-based combat. It just gets boring to me if it's too easy, but this game is not stale. The boss battles are absolutely epic, and just even the regular battles are epic in this game. It's kind of semi-open world a bit. You have these huge areas, so it's more like open-ended, but very exploration heavy. And it's just one of those games where it's more focused on the gameplay. You just get straight into the gameplay, the exploration, the turn-based combat, the visuals look great. The original soundtrack in this game is amazing. And this is probably one of my favorite JRPGs that I have ever played. And I can't wait to play through this game again on the new Vengeance Story Route. Now the next game on this list is one that definitely caught me by surprise because I was not expecting to get hooked on this game. And that game is Mario vs Donkey Kong. I think a lot of people have slept on this game because it did come out a bit expensive at $50 for what is essentially a short game. It's not your mainline big 2D Mario adventure. Of course, it's not your 3D adventure, but what this game is, is just plain freaking fun, 2D platforming, puzzle platforming, and it's one of those games that you can just easily pick up and play and just get right into it, right into the gameplay. Not many cutscenes, much of a story going on, but the puzzle platforming in this game, in my opinion, is top tier. This is a really kind of comfort game. I would say if you like 2D Mario and you haven't played this style of game with the puzzle solving, I would say you should definitely give this game a chance. Maybe if you don't want to pay full price, see if you got some old games that you know you won't touch, trade them in, or see if you can get this game on sale somewhere. But this game is just really good. It's just plain fun. I don't really know what else to say about it other than that. The difficulty kind of reminds me of some like mild wings. Like they're definitely not too hot, but it's got a little bit of kick to it with the difficulty, if you know what I mean. Especially later on, I actually did get to a point where I just put it down one day because I couldn't figure out the puzzle as fast as I had been. So it does ramp up the difficulty in the later stages of the game. 
And I would say if you haven't given this game a chance and you're a fan of 2D Mario and you're a fan of puzzle games, definitely give this game a shot. So the base game of Double Dragon Gaiden Rise of the Dragons is already a phenomenal beat-em-up, but with the free DLC update which adds new characters and a brand new survival game mode and also a versus mode, it just makes this game even more fun and addictive. I recently tried out the new update with a friend. We played the survival mode and we made it all the way up to wave 20 and it was a blast. It's nothing super original. It's the same kind of survival mode you would get in uh, like Shredder's Revenge and um, Streets of Rage 4. But basically you go wave after wave and after every wave you can choose upgrades for your characters so kind of adds a bit of RPG elements and mechanics to it but this game is just phenomenal the beat-em-up mechanics in this game are great there's a wide selection of characters to choose from the story is great with different paths that you can go on and the new survival mode is a lot of fun also and really ramps up the difficulty the further you get this is definitely one of the most addictive beat-em-ups that I have played and a must-own for beat-em-up fans that have a Nintendo Switch or wherever you can play this game. Just make sure you play it. Ease Origin is definitely another one of the most addictive JRPGs that I have ever played. The main reason being because of the buttery smooth, fluid, fast-paced action RPG combat. The boss battles in this game are absolutely epic. You fight some really huge and difficult bosses and every time you get to a new area it feels like you're weak again and you've got to build up and get strong. The upgraded abilities that you get during your adventure really spice things up as well and really make the action RPG combat a lot of fun. The story in this game is nothing out of this world, but it is a good story that does give you that sense that you are on this big grand adventure trying to restore peace and save the world, basically. This game is just a lot of fun, one that doesn't get talked about enough in my opinion, and one that I would highly recommend you should play for the Nintendo Switch. Another thing about this game is that it does have some good replay value because there's three main protagonists that you can play as for the main story and they all have their own perspective as well and they also all have their own action RPG mechanics in this game. Now last but definitely not least is Super Mario Brothers Wonder and this game was truly wonderful to play through for me. When I first got this game, this game is just all I wanted to play. I didn't even think about playing through any other games and I definitely locked in and played this game from start to finish with every bit of free time that I had. When I was at work, I was just thinking to myself, man, I just want to be home right now playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. In my opinion, this game brought 2D Mario back to the top. This game is right up there with Super Mario World and Super Mario Brothers 3. It is that good. Now I wouldn't go to so far to say that it's better than those games, but I would say that you can make an argument that it might be better than Super Mario World. And one thing that really makes this game stand out from other 2D Mario games in my opinion is that the co-op in this game is absolutely a blast whether you play local co-op or even online it is just so much fun this game is just so wacky with the wonder seed abilities the different things you can do the different abilities that you can equip and unequip which really make things different a very unique game one of the most addictive Nintendo Switch games that I've ever played and one of my favorite Nintendo Switch games of all time. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit that like button, subscribe, and that notification bell to get more great Nintendo Switch content.